Now we will discuss about the peritoneum part 12. In this part we will discuss about the peritoneal foci or the recesses. These are clinically important recesses. Sometimes internal hernia, herniations takes place through these recesses. One uh, recess is the uh, lesser sac which is largest recess. Uh, lesser sac will be discussed uh, further and now we will discuss about the duodenal recess this is duodenum first part second part third part this is first part second part this is third part this is fourth part this is duodenal general junction in relation to the duodenum this is fourth part of the duodenum. This is first, second, third. This is fourth part. Here one recess lies direction of which is on right side. This is para duodenal recess. This is para duodenal recess. One important thing, it this recess opens on the uh, right side and one vein, this is inferior mesenteric vein, this is inferior mesenteric vein lies along the anterior margin of this opening and the recess here is superior duodenal recess this is superior duodenal recess its length is about 2 cm or its depth is about 2 cm direction is it, it opens downward and here is superior uh, inferior duodenal recess its depth is about 3 cm it's about 2 cm and it lies at level of L2 vertebra it lies at level of L3 vertebra and it occurs in 50% cases and it occurs in 75% cases and this occurs in 20% cases and there is retroduodenal. Here lies retroduodenal. This is retroduodenal. Length of this retroduodenal is varies. It may be six to eight centimeter, and it opens towards the left side. And the and it is uh, very rarely present. And there is here, it is about 3 cm length and this is present at the junction of duodenum and jejunum. That's why it is known as duodenal jejunal. This is duodenal jejunal recess. Direction is downward and right side. And then is here is superior mesenteric artery. This is superior mesenteric vein. So this is artery and vein. Here one recess lies. This recess is known as mesentrico parietal recess. This is mesentrico parietal recess. It occurs in 20% cases. And the recess. In relation to C 
Sikam. Here is superior ileostical discs. Here is inferior ileostical discs. Here is one artery. This is iliocolic artery or ileostical artery runs along the anterior margin of the superior recess. And the recess is retrocecal recess. Here is retrocecal recess. This recess is sometimes contains appendix. And the recess in relation to sigmoid colon enter sigmoidal recess. Here is sigmoid major colon. This is sigmoid colon. This is mesentery and sigmoid major colon. Sigmoid major colon. Here is position of ureter. This is left ureter. This is ureter. Sometimes here is one recess. This is intersigmoid recess. Inter sigmoid recess. This is clinically important. Internal hernia may occur through this recess. A loop of intestine may pass through this. So this is all about the peritoneal recess.